Hello you, Ian Lee here, um, 2.35, the 9th, sorry, the 16th of November 2022. Um, it's a few hours since Alex Belfield was sent to prison for five and a half years for stalking. I was not one of the eight people that took him to court. I was scared. I'm not proud to admit that. I was scared. It's too scared take him to court. So I thank those eight brave souls that were willing and able to confront him in court. Praise the four of them who Delphine was found guilty. I salute the other four and commiserate them because he wasn't found guilty of stalking them but but I know I know he was. He stalked me for 10 years made my life miserable. I was too scared to mention his name in public. A few of my friends the other day saw a tweet about it and they said, why didn't you tell me? I was scared to say his name out loud. He's like the candy man. I was terrified of him. I ended up feeling suicidal. He told me to kill myself. I don't mention my kids' names or their YouTube channels online because I'm afraid that he will get their pictures and will use them for evil. He's done that to one of the victims already pictures of his kids, pictures of his unborn child. Alex Belfield is evil. It's not a free speech thing. He was never going to sue the BBC. He begged for money online, claiming it was to sue the BBC. He was never going to sue the BBC. He was found guilty in court, and instead of showing contrition, instead of apologising in his videos, showing humility, he doubled down. Some of his victims came very, very close to suicide. So did I. He terrorised people. He bullied them. He hounded them. He manipulated them. He bombarded them. It wasn't just hurty emails. These were threats. Threats to ruin lives, to ruin marriages, to ruin businesses, to ruin jobs. The number of times at talk radio I was called into my boss because a specific complaint had gone through. Sometimes about something that had been said on air, something that was sometimes it was something that was complete nonsense. They all link back to Belfield. The sentencing report is out there. I'll put a link to it in the description of this video. Point 25 has just popped up. One of the um, defendants gave graphic and distressing evidence of how close he came to taking his own life. I've changed the language slightly because I don't want to trigger anybody. I liken him not to Jimmy Savile, more to Charles Manson, in that he has an army, a family out there that will continue to do his work. I've had threats on Twitter this morning. I'll get comments in here. Any comments in this video that support him, you will be deleted. I urge YouTube and Twitter, take him off your platforms. You are enabling his bullying. You are enabling his homophobia, his biphobia, his transphobia, his racism. You are enabling his terror attacks. If you've been a victim of any crime, it's tough to talk. I, I get it. I wish I'd spoken out sooner. But I couldn't. Today I'm free. Today a weight has been lifted. This might sound melodramatic, but it's my lived experience. Alex Belfield, you can't touch me anymore. You're in prison for five and a half years. Earliest, you'll be out early 2025. That's the earliest. But I don't think you're going to show contrition. I don't think you're going to apologise. So you could be out in 2027. Today for me is not a day for celebration. I'm not celebrating. I'm celebrating 10 years of being miserable, being bullied, of being scared. I'm not celebrating that. But I am relieved and I do feel free and I do feel empowered. Thank you for watching.